I haven't done one of the what's in my fridge videos in a while and since we're staying in the RV and we, oops, sorry, just went to the store today, thought I would show you what's in my fridge. Well, and my counters, I guess. So starting over here, we've got some tomatoes, which technically aren't from the store. A friend of mine grew them in her garden. Thank you, Amy. Onions and garlic, those are actually left over from before. Some yams. Ripe and unripe bananas, some for now, some for later. Some, oh, I got some figs at Trader Joe's, yum. More of those are in the fridge because I like them cold. This is just leftover too. It's just almonds and raisins. Great for snacking, super easy. Um, I keep oils and homemade salad dressings. Well, this is homemade salad dressing, Italian dressing, but I like to use these Bragg apple cider vinegar glass bottles. They're awesome. My vinegar is back here too, but it's almost gone. Don't worry, I have more up here. Woo. And some olive oil and grapeseed oil. Oh, so up here we've got dry goods. Syrup and raw honey and more nuts and rice and coconut oil and some Annie's ketchup. And there's oats and quinoa and other dry goods back there. Up here. There's a bucket of spices, vinegars, and more oils for when I run out, and some wild canned salmon for emergencies, more backup of ketchup because we're not always near a natural food store where I can get that brand, or Target who also carries it. Then down here, I turned one of my drawers into a spice drawer, so that works out really good. All right to the fridge. It's much smaller than my fridge at my house, so stuff is packed in here, but I had gotten notes from many people who were worried how I was going to eat additive free foods on the road, but as you can see, this is much better than living out of a cooler. We have quite a bit in here, and I know eventually, eventually, if I actually sit down and do it and meal plan, I could get by with going to the store like once a week for sure. So. Um, Chad's been loading up on kombucha because his batches back at the house aren't ready yet and it was on sale at Natural Grocers, which I'm so excited. It's in Omaha now. Too bad I'm leaving, but check that out for sure. And we've got some boneless skinless chicken thighs. These are grass-fed hot dogs. Um, haven't had hot dogs in a gazillion years since we changed our diet, but now that we're camping and we've got a little fire grill thingy out there, and sometimes it's nice to just participate in regular life like everyone else. So we're trying these. I just got the best, best, quote unquote, ones that I could find. And they're uncured, grass-fed beef, organic hot dogs. So we'll see how that goes. Um, instead of buns, we just got some of this Ezekiel sprouted grain bread to put it on. And what else do we have in here? Um, some organic eggs, leftover chicken that I had diced up for lunches, and peppers, because that's all to go on this diced romaine here. And we have these corn tortillas from Trader Joe's, which Chad loves. It's just corn water and trace of lime, and he loves to fry up an egg and put this salsa on here for a quick, totally processed, but at least additive free enough that we don't react to it breakfast and he loves that so we've got those since we have access to a Trader Joe's here. I've got some celery all cut up here in some water. Um, those figs I was telling you about. And this is just leftover chicken and potatoes and green beans from the other night. Can't really see that. And some red peppers. We use those on salads. We typically eat like romaine with veggies and leftover grilled chicken all the time and homemade Italian dressing. Then in our produce drawer, I've got a couple cucumbers from my good friend Amy who grew the tomatoes too. Thanks Amy. And some squash from her also. Awesome. Avocados and a bunch of limes because we're going to have some taco rice bowls and use all those tomatoes that she gave us. And we've got apples in there. And yeah, I could use a fridge twice this size, but I do the best with what I can. And here's a bunch of cilantro and green onions for the taco bowls and worms.
for Chad's fishing. Yeah, that's about it. And some water. We don't really have ice, so we keep cold water in the fridge because this is the extent of the freezer. And I've got some wild cod up here, pineapple chunks, some mint I threw in the freezer because we use it for strawberry mint smoothies. Yum, 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 yum. These are diced green peppers from our garden last year, so yay. Bonus to have those around. And I've got some grass-fed beef from Range West. Woo! Hey, Luke and Lori. Awesome farmers. Love their beef. And it's vacuum-packed, which is awesome. It doesn't leak everywhere. It doesn't get freezer burnt. It doesn't leak when you thaw it out. Frozen organic broccoli. And what else? Some frozen vacuum-sealed kale from our garden last year. We throw that in smoothies. And this is... Um, an organic whole chicken. More peppers. Ah, everything's falling out. You can see my dilemma here. These are ice packs. We use them when we take lunches when we're going to be out for the day on an outing. These are frozen bananas which we make tons of things out of like mock ice cream and a chocolate chocolate avocado banana pudding. It's super yummy. Or we use carob powder sometimes. And we've got frozen strawberries and frozen raspberries and yeah that's about it and as you can see like it doesn't fit well in here and once we're like really 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 on the road I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna have just like frozen organic meats at my house that I could just keep restocking my freezer with so I will probably have mostly meat in my freezer and find a way to not have so much frozen berries and such in there so that I can get by in between times we find sources in the farmer's markets and stuff. So, but who knows? We will work it all out. And so, there you have it. That's what's in the freezer, fridge, and even on the counter and in the cupboards today. Oh, and a watermelon.